how you still, like, you were successful as a publicist. Mm. And you had three scripts. I don't know how you did that. Because having a nine to five is absolutely exhausting. Yeah. To begin with. And I feel like the creativity is just drained by the time you get home. It's totally drained. But you know what, though? It was like, at, at a certain point, like after eight years, it was like one of these is harder than the other. Mm -hmm. Like not taking, not, not taking a step forward, like that was harder than like making myself stay up a couple more hours to like, crank out a shitty scene, you know, for the screenplay. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the first drafts are always shitty. Like, just know that and accept it, because like, it, you sort of give yourself permission to just sit it. I, it gave me permission to sit in front of my laptop and write just garbage, like page after page of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a part of the process, well, you know? And, and for me, it just, it just got, it just got too hard not doing it. When did you know to quit? Sorry to take it. I just want to know. Yeah, you can go. You can go. Sorry. Yeah. It's just going to be us now. Um, <laughs> you know, it was one of those, it was one of those step out on faith kind of moments. You know what I mean? It really was. And you know what did is when I was talking to my mother, my mother who is always very like sort of conservative about this sort of thing. She's always, she's been the person that's drilled into me to like get that nine to five baby and get your benefits. And you can do, you can do what you love when you, you retire. Yeah. You know, that's been like, it was when that woman was like, well, you know what? I think you, I think you got to go for it, baby. Aww, it's when she made that change is really when I, when I like, felt like I had to do it. Because it was, it was the point where the trailer was doing well. Um, I was like on CNN. I had to sneak out of my job to like take meetings everywhere. And like literally it was like, hey, I'm going for a lunch and wouldn't come back for several hours. But like... <laughs> But like, I, I literally, you know, I was like, this is like, I think I'm at the place now where I just need to give this all of my energy. And I don't know how I'm gonna make it if this deal doesn't come together. But I talked to my mom and she completely did a 180. And that's, that's really for me when I knew that that was the only choice I had. And it